Moderna coronavirus vaccine induces immune response in Phase 1 trial. American biotechnology company Moderna's experimental coronavirus vaccine has shown to be safe and effective at provoking immune responses in an early-stage study. Researchers reported that all 45 healthy volunteers who received the vaccine developed immune responses to the virus. The study, which was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, details that volunteers who received two doses of the vaccine exhibited levels of antibodies even higher than those recorded in recovered COVID-19 patients. More than half of the study volunteers experienced mild or moderate side effects such as chills, muscle aches, pain at the injection site, fatigue, and headache. However, the volunteers never experienced serious side effects, and the side effects they did report were more likely to be experienced after the second dose of the vaccine and among those who received the highest dose. The world has been eagerly anticipating the release of a coronavirus vaccine. According to Express Pharma magazine, Moderna was the first company to start testing a potential coronavirus vaccine on humans in March, exactly 66 days after the genetic sequence of the novel coronavirus was released. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said, If your vaccine can induce a response comparable with natural infection, that's a winner. He is reportedly pleased by the results of the study, noting that it's good news. Moderna's experimental vaccine, mRNA-1273, is based on ribonucleic acid or RNA, which is a polymeric molecule that contains instructions for the creation of proteins. When someone receives the vaccine, it instructs the body's cells to make proteins that resemble the surface of the novel coronavirus. The human body reacts to these cells as a foreign invader and generates an immune response to protect itself. In this study, three groups with 15 volunteers each, aged 18 to 55, received two shots of the vaccine 28 days apart. The groups received different doses of the vaccine, with the first receiving 25 micrograms, the second receiving 100 micrograms, and the third receiving 250 micrograms. Despite the few side effects reported by volunteers, vaccine expert Dr. William Schnaufer of the Vanderbilt University Medical Center said, There's nothing here that would inhibit one from going ahead to the Phase 2 of the Phase 3 trials.